everybody. Uh, I'm just on the next part of my electric bike conversion that I'm doing and I'm just about to test this second hand hub. Now I've got all the components to, to try it with and I just thought I'd do uh, just show you uh, show you what I'm going to do to get this working and just do a quick a bit, bit of an overview on all the components that you need if you're thinking of going the same route as I've gone and buying everything individual so now I've got everything I'll just quickly run through it I've got a battery base that my battery on my other bike will share onto this bike I've got um, I've ordered some reed switches to make some brake cutoff switches uh, I fancied making my own instead of buying them in ready made with the levers because it means changing all my levers on my bike and I don't want to interfere with all the uh, quick quick uh, change thumb shifter gears I've got the pedal assist sensor that fits onto the uh, crank on the pedals I've got the thumb throttle with its isolating switch, thumb throttle and uh, voltage meter. I've got the controller and I've got a box for the controller to keep everything nice and neat and tidy and I think that's everything. Oh and I've got the cable I've got the cable that connects into the hub See that, that cable was already on the hub with that plug on. I've just bought a matching cable to fit to that and then then that goes to my controller. So that's all my equipment. So basically then I'll just do a little bit of an overview of this controller. Now it's a bit of a minefield with, with controllers because there's that many different uh, things to look look out for you need to know if it's brushed or brushless uh, most of the hubs I found are brushless you need to know the correct voltage for your battery um, someone like this one a dual voltage and you need to know the current amperage that you need to uh, match up with your motor I mean I'm no expert on this but uh, you know just from a bit of trial and error making these bikes up I think for a small 250 watt motor probably a 12 amp controller would do it and then if you're going up in size hub like this is I think this is a 500 or a is it 350 or 500 I think it's 500 so I've got an 18 amp controller here um, so that's that's another that's that's a couple of things to look out for and then no, no matter what controller you see they've all just got different wires different amounts of wires different connectors etc uh, some have some have um, labels on in Chinese some have translated labels on that sometimes uh, don't make sense when you're a novice like me at doing this and uh, it takes a bit of fathoming out sometimes but this particular controller came with a kit so it's got all the the plugs on it match up with everything in the kit and uh, that makes it more simpler but I'm going the other route so I've had to change a lot of my connectors to match my equipment that's fitting onto it uh, you don't have to put connectors on, you could just chop the wires off and solder the wires together. But it makes it, you know, better if you need to dis ever dismantle it, if it's got connectors on. So, off camera, I've been changing all my connectors to suit all my um, ancillaries that fit to the controller. And then the labelling of the wires. Uh, a lot of it sometimes... It's bad translation, I think. So you have to like uh, you'll have to like like work through it and uh, try and fathom out what's what. And then you get controllers with all a lot of wires on that sometimes, like this bunch here, I don't even need to use all them. So 
the way I go about it, all I want is a throttle, a pedal assist, brake cutoffs, and a three speed switch. And that's basically all I need, other than the wires that go to the motor, which you normally get the five all, all sensor wires and the three phase wires. Uh, some motors I think don't have hall sensors so if it comes with hall sensor wires on you just don't use them it don't matter if it's on the controller and you don't use them uh, and then it's got two a positive and a negative wire that goes to the battery and that's basically all, all, I, need, all, all I need to look for uh, I've got my, my throttle wires them five there I've got my phase wires, them three, the five hall sensor wires, positive, negative and three signal. I've got the brake cutoff switch wires and the three speed wires that go to the handlebars to, to give you three speeds. And that's basically all you need if you're doing it the same way as I'm doing it um, so I've not got me I've not got my brake cutoff switch coupled up yet because I've not even made them they're here in these reed switches so I've got that to do but that don't matter I can still try the hub without and then some of the controllers you get a couple of wires that are called um, intelligent learning wires so what you do with those if the motors go in the wrong way in the wrong direction this is just a sequence to put your power on couple these two wires up then the, the wheel will go the correct way and then when you cut your power off uncouple the wires it remembers that's so why it's going the right way then I also did a video uh, a while back I had a throttle on one of my other bikes and I, I wanted to change it instead of having a throttle with the battery bars on which aren't very accurate I wanted a voltmeter on so I switched it to this thumb throttle uh, and this thumb the thumb throttles have only well the, the ones I'm using have only got five wires so I had to I had to fathom out how to get six wires into five on the controller and uh, in that video I show you how to use a multimeter and if you're not sure of any, any of the wires that's on the controller you can apply that same uh, strategy to finding out where all the other wires do you know by finding your positives and your negatives and your signal wires so if you want to if you're not quite sure take a look at that video that I did about changing a six wire twist throttle to a five wire thumb throttle and just apply that same uh, that same strategy really the only thing I've not got coupled up then is the speed wire I'm waiting for a switch to come for that and the cut off switches uh, but we can still try a hub without that now this speed wire all it is there's three wires in it in this connector when it's not connected to anything it that's the normal middle speed we'll call it number two speed then the black wire if you short the black wire and the grey wire out you then get a slower speed that's number one speed and then if you short the black wire and the pink wire then you get the faster speed number three speed um, so I'm just waiting for a, th a three-way switch to come so I can couple it into that then I'll have three speeds but I can still show you by shorting the wires out you know how it works so let's uh, let's try it hub then I've got the battery coupled up, positive and negative 
to the controller. Uh, so it's just a matter of switching it on. I've got 38 volt in the battery at the moment. And then uh, Now, I know the wheel's not running true because I'm re-spoking it in when I've finished this video. So that's the number two speed. It's going the right way anti-clockwise. So to get the number one speed, I've just got to couple the the middle wire, the black wire, and this grey wire together. I'll just take power off while I do that. I don't think it matters but so they're connected so that's going to run slower now so if I just disconnect this like I'm turning a switch it should pick up speed so I've gone from number one speed to number two speed now if I can if I connect the black wire and the pink wire that should be my top speed, number three speed. And then if I disconnect it like it's going back to number two, that'll that'll slow it down. So that's gone back to normal now, number two speed. So that's me uh, that's my throttle working okay. Now my pedal assist wire, which is coupled into the controller, I can just try that by imitating that this is rotating on the pedals. Get the arrow direction the correct way, and then uh, it's just a matter of getting it the right distance from the sensor. I've got the power on. Neat power on. Yeah, so that's working okay. So that's it, everything's working now. So I'm, I'm ready for now getting that wheel spoked up properly with some new spokes. And then um, it's a matter then of fastening everything to bike then. Mm. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, so I think that's it for this uh, for this part. Then I know that hub's working now, so that's, that's pleased me. Um, I'm ready now for re-spoking that wheel up and getting it trued up and then uh, I can make a start fitting all these items onto the bike I've got to wait for my three-way switch to come for me um, three speeds and I've got to fathom out how I'm going to make some cut-offs, brake cut-off switches with these reed switches that I've bought uh, so that's uh, for a future video that I think so uh, uh, if you found that interesting give me a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, I'd appreciate that and uh, I'll catch you up next video thanks for watching then bye for now